Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we make this new bedroom. Look at that. Oh, I hope it works, eh? What do you mean, hope it works? Well, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, fingers crossed. You might be getting um, too comfortable. It's making noise. I think, I think it's good. It's bearing a load now. No props. That prop system there is just holding up the ceiling, and that's all. So now we've got to do the same with this wall. This wall's going. And this brand new beam that we had to get a minor variation for, it's going in its place. And that's what the extra posts were for. Two extra posts over there. And we had one big post that took me all day over here. Oh. Are you right, Pato? Oh. <laughs> Looking good, man. I'm ready for a missing job. We've got to get rid of all these pink bats. The feet's going and the wall's going. So as you can imagine, this stuff is not the healthiest, but it is an asbestos. And I know that because I got it tested at the start of the job. As soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh no, don't tell me. Because it really is everywhere up there. So today we are continuing with the framing and that's the sort of general theme for the week is to get all the framing done. And the sooner we can do that, the sooner we can get out here and do the weatherboards. Vegetarian, bro. Oh, this is getting cool, mate. Hey, this is this is back to Chef Bardo. This is, everyone will be very happy to see yeah. this. <laughs> Are you going full vegetarian? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, look at the height of that thing. Oh, you just wait till I cut this in half, all right? Oh, it's a little bit under, but we can live with that. Oh, that looks cafe gourmet. So I'm gonna ask you again, Pato. What's the secret to a good toasty? I already have one, eh? I just wing it every time. <laughs> <laughs> I went to an LBP event yesterday, so it wasn't here. And the boys got all set up for the next beam. So what we're doing this morning is putting that beam in. Beam is just about ready. We're ready up here. Cut the top plate of this wall out. You can see the layout of the room start to take shape here. You've got one window in this room, another window over here in this room, and a third window in the other room. And this beam is going through here. <laughs> How's today's toasty, Richard? Nuclear hot. <laughs> Mouth burner. <laughs> but delicious. Now that the beam's in, we can uh, build the structure around it and remove what's left of the wall. Yeah. Oh, hey, bro. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Ah. Whoo. Yeah. Look, he's here. Uh, it's oh, a tea and a Red Bull, bro. Oh, uh, there we go. We have a visitor. Good to see you, bro. 
So here's a uh, regular of the channel we haven't seen in quite some time. Oh, Be busy. Pe people thought we. You've been doing videos, though. Yeah, little videos. All right, because I, I wanted to share it here so people can see it. It's a YouTube channel, right, or is it Facebook? Uh YouTube channel is just starting up, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's not as good as Scotty's. My one's just a video vlog. <laughs> <laughs> that's alright though. Sometimes that's all people want to see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everybody's been like DMing me. Where are you? Where are you? See you in another six months, maybe. <laughs> The timber, the old timber is wider than the new timber, so we end up with this little gap here. So it's good to see Cameron. He's uh, busy on a massive um, sort of factory that he's building, big tilt slab factory thing. And obviously we're busy with this, so we don't see each other as, as much as we used to. All right, now I'm gonna do the 45 degree angle like we did over there. There's only one on this side. is chuck me those nail on plates yeah. and uh, Already there, mate. Already there. I like your style and uh, unplug that drop saw and put the new blade on it bro oh, so these struts that go across there are coming out so we're gonna put some new ones going across there the main reason for this is to support that outside wall. The outside wall is kind of by itself. And without this frame here, it could be wobbly. People often ask about what we do with the old timber, but well, we try and hold on to it because we might use it when we clad the outside. So Rich is sorting through, throwing out what got damaged, and uh, pulling nails out of what we're going to keep. Okay. Look at that, Pato. We have a we have an opening. We have a new room. The extension. Now you get a proper feel for the size of it, eh? Definitely. So this is a new bedroom. Half of the deck was taken. New window over there. And um, back here will be the new door into the bedroom. Say hi to your mum. Say hi to your mum. Boom. Scott Brown here. Sure. Flooring. We've got to do our flooring. So we're going to cut along here with the track saw. But I don't want to ruin my blade, so I've got an old blade in here. Let's put that sucker on. Oh, there's another nail. Oh, you skinned that now. What's up, bro? Oh, there we go. That one got a bit of a hiding.
These are the realities of renovations here, guys. Look at this, part has been a real chippy. How's that bear looking, Pato? Eh? There's a bear right there. Pato, it's a chip away at it because it's sticking up a little bit. Oh, are we good? Nice. We good, homie? God. There you go, there's your bedroom. Beam going down through the stud, down to the post, going to the lintel, to the two studs. They each go to a post. There you go. New beam, new room. Thanks for watching this exciting episode.